Welcome to HodgePodge Australia. Today I am doing a fan request from Jessica. I have made a Lego Man cake. I'm going to utilize my checkerboard cake pan again. And when I finish tidying up my bench, you can see there I have greased it with Crisco. I will show you that I have made three cake mixes. I have green, blue, and red. And I'm actually going to do this twice. So you're going to actually want six cakes. I'm also using my new Wilton cake even strips so it should be interesting to see how those come out but stay tuned for a future video that is actually going to give you a bit more of an in-depth look into these Wilton strips. I'm just going to tighten it around my pan before I start adding my cakes into the checkerboard pieces. So as I mentioned stay tuned later in the week I will have a better video on using these Wilton strips. I have found that it is easier when using the checkerboard cake pan to put it up on a turntable and to pour the cake mix in. You can use a spoon or a measuring cup as you saw in my Christmas checkerboard cake if you have watched that video, but really this is so much easier. I made such a mess using a spoon and things, you know, you're dripping it everywhere. And this allows you to twist it so you, um, as you can see there in front of you, my catchphrase, as you can see, but just twisting it, makes your life a whole lot easier. So if you have a turntable, I recommend you use it for this cake pan because it just saves your sanity like you wouldn't believe, especially when you're doing this six times. So we're going to pour in our cake mixes. We're going to alternate the colors, just use a spoon there to smear it around so that it's even. And we're going to do this on the other two pans. So for now I have red, blue, green. I'm then gonna have green, blue, red, and the other combination, but you're going to want to alternate it. There we look, there's all my combinations. You can see them there. I'm going to bake those in the oven and then we're going to do that another time. So you're going to have six cakes. You will have leftover cake mix, but it will save your sanity if you use one cake mix per color because if you try to make just two cake mixes and then divide it into three so that you have three even portions so that it goes evenly into the different portions, one of them's guaranteed to not have enough cake. So save your sanity and use three cake mixes per three cakes. It's just so much easier. And using some leftover cake mix I have there, I've pulled out the small little tins that came with my ball pan cake. If you have one of those, these are the two little stands that you actually put the two halves of the ball on. But I'm going to use these as my cakes for the little peg on the top of the Lego man head. They're the perfect size. So just a little bit of Crisco in them and then some leftover cake mix. They're going to go into the oven with the other cakes. Now with your cake mixes too, because it's a narrower cake, it only needs to bake for about 20-25 minutes as opposed to your 40 minutes. So here are my cakes. I have my six levels. I have layered it all. I have some buttercream and I am going to do my crumb coating. I'm just going to put a small layer of buttercream in between each layer because I don't want to lose that checkerboard effect when you cut into it with too much buttercream. But you also need that moisture of buttercream when you're eating the cake. You don't want it six layers of, of just cake. You need that buttercream in there. So giving it all a good crumb coating, put your pegs on the top, give them a crumb coating as well. It is your, going to be your only layer of buttercream, however, so make sure that you do smooth it all out. You don't want it to be too clumpy because your fondant is going to go over the top. So give that a good smoothing and then pop that in the freezer if you'd like to get on with your job really quickly. Freezer for 15 minutes. Fridge for as long as you'd like if you want to do something in the meantime. You can use that time to roll out your yellow fondant if you have a sweet wise mat like I do because it keeps it nice and moist well not moist but it doesn't dry out because you've got the two layers when you pull your cake out of the freezer well mine was in the freezer so I recommend putting it in the freezer we're going to use a bread knife to cut around the top of the cake we want to round off the edges on the top of the cake because lego man heads are rounded so we want to have that nice rounded edge on his head we don't want him to look too blockish even though he is a block but that's beside the point. We're going to round off the edges. Then we're going to tidy up our workspace and we're going to cover him with some yellow fondant. It was very, very humid in my kitchen the day I made my Lego head. So my fondant is very sticky and super sweaty. And so it was fun to work with. 
Next time I will make sure I have my air conditioning on first. But once you're happy with your yellow covered fondant, you can move on to the face. So using a small round cutter, I have rolled out some black fondant and I'm just going to use a lovely little cake tool scalpel to freestyle cutting out a smiley face for my Lego man. Then it's time to stick your fondant on where you want your eyes and positioning your mouth. I'm sorry you can't see, but I can't do it backwards. I need to be looking at what I'm doing or it's all going to just go horribly, horribly wrong. So I've just got my eyes and my mouth on my Lego man and it's time to work on the tongue. I've just used the round again to cut a circle and then trimmed off the top to give it more of a tongue shape and then I'm just going to shape it even more, placing that onto our Lego man so he's got a cheeky little expression. And then it's time to add eyebrows because I don't know about you but when it comes to faces, eyebrows always really seem to clinch it for me on the expression. To finish off our cake man, I'm just actually using the wide edge tip for a piping bag to cut out my smaller circles because my circle cutter set doesn't go small enough. So using just a large piping bag tip, I'm cutting out some smaller circles to add his little eye accents onto his face. This really finishes him off. So you can make him cross-eyed if you want. I'm gonna go with his sort of looking to the side, sort of where he's poking his tongue. And I will tidy up his mouth a little bit. I'm gonna add some black down and around his tongue to really define off his face. But that is our Lego man head, which once cut into, looks like it's been built out of Lego bricks because we've used our checkerboard pan. Jessica, I hope this has satisfied your request for a Lego cake. And if you, someone else out there has a request on a cake they would like to see, certainly hit me up in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like our Lego Inside Lego Man cake. I think he's super great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to us here at HodgePodge Australia and we'll see you again real soon.